Nuclear and Radiological Terrorism The potential forms of nuclear and radiological terrorism include detonation of nuclear weapons, radiological terrorism as in a suitcase bomb, and sabotage of nuclear facilities. This is also radiological. A nuclear explosion is the most feared because it has the ability to cause enormous instantaneous devastation. It also has persistent effects of radiation that is emitted. The energy of a nuclear explosion comes in three forms, the blast, thermal radiation, and nuclear radiation. Let's look at the dynamics of a nuclear blast. The winds have a positive phase and a negative phase. During the positive phase, winds travel outward from the point of detonation. As the fireball rises, a slight vacuum is created. This will cause the winds to reverse and blow back towards the detonation. The velocities of this reverse wind are mild compared to the positive phase. The reversal of the winds will keep debris in the air longer and possibly cause more damage. Radiological weapons are dirty bombs. These are conventional explosives, for example, a dynamite packaged with radioactive material. It's not possible to dispose of radiological agents the only time you can totally eliminate the hazard. It's not clear if terrorists can handle and detonate high-grade radioactive material without fatally injuring themselves. The morning after a nuclear weapon has been used, the rules of warfare throughout the world will be profoundly transformed. Democracy cannot survive if a nuclear bomb is detonated in Paris or Manhattan. Fred uh, Eckel is quoted by Sigrid Heckler, Los Alamos uh, National Laboratory. The most urgent unmet national security threat to the U.S. today is the danger that weapons of mass destruction or weapons usable material in Russia could be stolen and sold to terrorists or hostile nation states and used against American troops abroad and citizens at home. This is uh, former Senator Howard Baker and Lloyd Cutler, January 2001.